is ABC 7 News at 6. Coming up next, the hidden pain of cancer in a place where Bay Area children can bring it out into the open. And what we didn't recognize was the emotional trauma to those kids who felt like they were being put on the shelf. Up next, a camp that lives up to its name. This is the time of year when so many of us take time to appreciate the good things in our lives. It's a time when families struggling with illnesses remember those who've helped them without asking for anything in return. Camp Okaizu is one such program that provides that special service for children and families living with cancer. Our Cheryl Jennings has more. The kids you see enjoying summer camp in the Sierra foothills are here to have fun, of course. But this particular group is together because they share something in common. They each have a loved one who was diagnosed with cancer. This is called Siblings Camp, run by the Okaizu Foundation of Novato. It was a need discovered by the camp co-founders, John Bell and Dr. Mike Amelon, after several years of working with families affected by cancer. And what we didn't at that point recognize was the emotional trauma to those kids who felt like they were being put on the shelf for a period of time. Siblings Camp is a place where kids can laugh and also feel safe to talk about their very private pain. Some share their thoughts with me, their sadness edged on their young faces. I was nine, and he would have been 11 at the time. And yeah, he battled cancer for about a year. And then he passed away when I turned 10. She had neuroblastoma, but then she got better. And they told her, told us she had cancer. And this was in 2001. And, and she passed away a year later. He was diagnosed with ALL when he was eight. I was six. And he passed away when I was eight. He was 10. And do you know what kind of cancer he had? Brain tumor. Yeah. How's he doing now? He's doing all right. He just can't run fast. That's what happened. Well, my dad had cancer. He had leuke um, lymphoma for a little bit. He had a tumor on his neck. and But then um, he took chemo. And my brother has had it. My brother Ryan got diagnosed when I believe I was four, and he was 10 or 11. Um, we tried to have as much fun as we could while my brother was still alive. Mm -hmm. It's hard to talk about, huh? Well, my brother, he was 16 months about when he was diagnosed with cancer, and then he, I was about three or four, and I remember there was a lot of confusion then. They are just some of the children who stood in the shadows while the family's attention was focused on the sick child. I did kind of want attention more from my parents. And when they went away, I would cry. I remember having some jealous feelings, but then I um, was very guilty, and so I took back all I had thought about. It was sad because my parents, i never seen them barely because they were always at the hospital. They began to feel like they must not be important, that they were not loved as much as their brother or sister who was ill. They were not valued as much by their parents or by the rest of the world because everybody they encountered was paying so much attention to the one who's sick, which is very natural. Um, and the, the other kids just felt like they no longer had a place in the world. Dr. Amelon and John Bell co-founded Campo Kaizu 26 years ago. Dr. Mike, as the kids call him, worked at Stanford as a bone marrow transplant specialist. John Bell was inspired by a man he met who was dying of cancer. The name of the camp, Okaizu, comes from the Sioux language and means unity, to come together, to heal from a hurt, to make whole. Camp Okaizu not only provides a free week of summer camp for children affected by cancer, but also for children living with cancer and a shorter week for the entire family. This summer, the kids are enjoying their brand new boathouse on the lake. You watched its progress over the last year. There wasn't any shade. The bathroom was, well, portable. The boat storage was an old metal container, which actually is being recycled to another part of the camp for equipment storage. The new digs have plenty of shade and all the other important things a boathouse needs, thanks to the generous donations from Okaizu's main donors for this, the Heart Foundation. 
All of this allows Okaizu to live up to its name and its mission as a place for healing the hearts of those affected by cancer and a reward for all of those who volunteer. It's a place for me to remember my brother and kind of just to remember who he was and how important he was for me. Seeing themselves as part of a group that has fun, that's a team, that's good to each other, that helps each other succeed, the kind of thing that you wish everybody in life would do. And here, not only does it happen, you're able to help create it. It's just a really great feeling. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News. It is a phenomenal place, and we can link you to the Camp Okaizu website. Just go to abc7news.com, and be sure to read Cheryl's backstory to find out about Camp Okaizu's wish list and how you can help make it come true.